the hello friends i have been talking to you about urophotometry and touching some clinically relevant aspects in this video i shall talk to you about what do we look for in this test right Now in this test there is as i said kind of a graph that is made uh, to depict the urination pattern of the patient so you have x axis on which we plot the time taken by the patient and then there is a y axis on which we plot the volume voided by the patient in milliliters and times in seconds now on these two axes when patient voids a graph comes like that mostly it is like this inverted u which is typical and classically normal urophotometry appearance what do we intend to see in this test this test is done various parts first part is you check what is the pre void bladder volume by bladder scan or by bladder ultrasound you assess how much is the volume in the urinary bladder when you think bladder is adequately filled you give a go ahead and then when patient passes urine we want to see how much is the volume voided in the machine how much time has been taken by the patient to do this voiding and when we say time it is one is called flow time and other is called voiding time i explained to you the difference in flow time and voiding time and then we see what have been the flow rates flow rate means what is the maximal flow rate it's called q max and then what has been the average flow rate which is called q average so we look for these objective parameters in that graph and once the patient has finished voiding we always do a repeat bladder scan to check what is the post void residual urinary volume so this triad makes a complete flowmetry test pre void bladder volume act of voiding recorded by these data and then post void residual urinary volume also remember that when you estimate this post void residual urinary volume it should be assessed as soon as possible after completing the act of maturation in the in the laboratory don't make the patient wait in between if that happens the bladder will refill and remember prior to urophotometry test some patients take lot of liquid and they are already in a state of diuresis if they wait for 5 minutes 10 minutes then bladder will fill up and your recording of post void residual urinary volume will be fallacious and then when we have the graph in front of us how do we report these parameters the voided volume is reported in nearest of 10 ml for example if the patient is voided as 418 ml we will write it as 420 right the flow rates are reported as nearest of 1 ml if it is 12.6 ml per second we will report it as 13 ml per second so that that adjustment we do then we report the results finally the shape and appearance of the trace that you get that's also very crucial and that is called flow pattern we report the flow pattern also so friends in from the trace that you get we report voided volume in ml we report flow rates in ml per second and we also report the flow patterns right so this basic you should know what are we expecting out of the urophotometry report if you have understood this basic we'll move ahead with more topics so thank you very much in case you have any questions you can write to me on my email